Hey Gemini, welcome back guys to Tip Talks 22. So I was talking to a few people to tonight, today, um, and I was like, let me just take a brief look into relationships for the collective, into love, romantic love for the collective. Um, and so that's what this is. Our, our love readings are typically... Y'all see I got my hand. This is why I'm breaking out right here. Because I'll be putting my hands right here like that. It's a habit. Anyway, um, your love readings are posted twice a month for each zodiac sign. Extended full detailed love readings um, for each sign, each zodiac sign. $7.77 on Patreon every month. Um, this is not going to be that to the extent at all. These are just quickies, getting an overall view or energy of what is happening here because Pluto is still in retrograde until October 11th, I think. So it's bringing a lot of attention to our relationships, any imbalance, any feelings of fulfillment or lack or discord or discontentment is being highlighted at this time. So you have over the next six months to make the necessary adjustments and Gemini first card out this career card often gives me the energy of um the king of pentacles so yeah somebody's gotten some type of news information or message here with the page of swords <sighs> Where it's like something you were either working on or going to work on or wanting to work on. You are perhaps taking a step back from. You might need to clear your mind and um, figure out, yeah, where do you go from here? For some of you, you have learned about a third party situation with that three of pentacles. Uh, some of you are ready to put some boundaries in place and to walk away from someone from a particular situation or relationship this could be someone that you have poured into for some time um or you've like had some type of connection with them for some time for some of you it could be like okay this feels like a divorce but there's like a sense of awareness here where you are seeing someone this emperor energy you're looking at this person in in a different light Okay, with that Knight of Swords, this could feel like something that happened really quickly here. You could have like some aggressive energy or feelings towards this person as well. But this feels like somebody that you are or were committed to or have been, like I said, for some time. However, I feel like it's the feminine energy because we have connected to this Queen of Wands. Someone wanna, wanting to walk away and let the past be the past here. Moving on, but then we also have this energy of detachment with this queen of pentacles. Also, this could be indicative of two different feminine energies because the current energy right now is that this is a crowded relationship. We have the triangle here. All right. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, Gemini, you guys definitely have some choices to make in this relationship. Um, in the near future, you have the, the card gifts. Hold on a second. Let me see what that's about. And the, the gift card is traditionally about openings. Um, it could be things that are surprises. It could be also like a sense of presence. I feel like, um, and I felt this immediately when I saw this particular card, that this is like you being gifted a, a situation. So maybe in the future, you'll be able to see or look back on the way something is playing out or unfolding here. Because there's something that's been revealed that's like prompting a new beginning or a new start or fresh fresh start here with that fool card. But something's being shown to someone that may kind of send you into like deep thought about yourself. Um, how you nurture or show love. Yeah, or maybe even um, how you have been you could have been neglecting yourself. Some of you are going to be seeing yourself in a more higher and divine light where you and someone are not aligned. Like you may be dealing with somebody who is low vibrational. So this is like being able to see like, I am not the same as this person, right? 
Um, this could be something that you, a choice that you, who sees a choice or decision that you have been reluctant to make. You kind of been fighting this change or resisting it, but it's going to be something that you open up to. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you'll be looking forward to the future in a positive way where it's like, if that situation hadn't happened, then it wouldn't have freed me up for this, which is going to be something that's going to be more aligned for you. Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissist, a toxic individual, a devilish energy. And I feel like you're also moving away from that. So in the future, I do feel like you'll be able to see the gift in that because there is um, going to be a more mature, reciprocated, positive situation that you are working towards here. For some of you, you're going to be realizing that, oh, this relationship wasn't that. I really feel like there's a sense of a third party being revealed and somebody is seeing either how they were manipulated or how this relationship, mm -hmm, they weren't on the same page with this relationship or was one-sided one or imbalanced in some way. And that's going to be because it's this third party. But either way, I do feel like there's clarity coming for you guys, Gemini. Something that you may have been kind of stuck in, in your head, thinking about and not even speaking on or feeling trapped in. You're doing some thinking and some reflecting here. And it's like, yeah, this ain't the family dynamic that I was, was hoping for or desiring. And I'm done with it. That's the energy that I'm getting. I hope this was helpful. My goosebumps going nuts. Hope this was helpful, Gemini. Bye-bye.